The Grand Experiment Explained, Part 2. This article follows on from Part 1. This is about the Syrian and Reptilian aliens. The demons in Psalms are lions and dragons. This derives from the ancient rivalry between the Syrian Empire and the Reptilian Empire in Orion. The dominant Reptilian race, called the Kep, rose to power in the Draco and Orion constellations with the elite warrior class known as the Nek. These beings were called the Black Ones, or Black Kings. They had horns coming from their skulls along with the black eyes. They represented the dark, unholy feminine energy through their reptilian Queen Aya. This is where the Famamet Network get its associations to demons and the horned devil. It really is a representation of the dark nature of the Draco Kep. Kep, Baal. Baal means ruler. The queen of the reptilian race, Aya utilized pharmakia, which is black magic, through the use of artificial altering drugs to enhance the ruthlessness of her warriors and turn them more satanic and psychopathic by nature. That is essentially what is being implemented on the earth in humans now. You know what this is. It is a deletion of the Pleiadian empathy gene A+, that was put in Adam by Enki. Removing this gene, which makes us essentially compassionate humans, creates severe complications in the body. The bioscientists of the cap were called SSS, which is why we associate snakes with the S hissing sound. The drugs they created were given to the assassin which is where the term assassin originates from. These warriors would be the guards to the reptilian queen. The SSS scientist or Mac engineered a substance for the elite class and the queen to extend their lifespans, which contain special proteins in blood of warm blooded creatures. They call this SMA because the reptilians need life force energy due to their low vibration. As vampires, they need to feed off of others with the opposite polarity so they can live without disease in their negative states. The narcissist, empath dynamic is a spiritual representation of this process here on earth. In physical terms, this is referred to as harvesting black glycrum, is the carbon 666, dividing the four elements with the central element depicting water, representing the human in the occult. The evil iron on the prize. The water represent the water in our blood. Google collects and controls information data to encode DNA through our blood to keep us in the matrix, allowing for fourth dimensional entities to feed off of our life forces. The reptilians were technologically superior in almost every way in comparison to the rest of the universe. The queen was often referred to as her supreme majesty or the Divine Queen Kar, in reference to Aya, who gave herself to the title of Architect of the Universe, and the manifestation of the Grand Creatrix 
through the great void, the ninth dimension of God. Con, car. They originally came into our universe by harvesting and utilizing the energy of trillions of souls to move through the black hole of the void in our world using current technology. This is being reproduced on Earth through the Large Hadron Collider to open up portals to form new realities and access parallel worlds or timelines. The reptilians used force when they needed to, but most of the time, saved their energy and military assets by engaging first in severe intimidation tactics. They did this by enforcing mind control programs developed by the max scientists to inject terror into the opposition. Most species were dominated and became compliant to the empire. Through the Draco Victimizer Armageddon software, without the need for physical war, until they encounter the Syrians at the Ninth Passageway or Pesh Maiden. These Syrians were called Wolfen Kings. The term wolf comes from the savage nature of the beings that came from the Dog Star or Canis Major, which is where Anubis originates from. Some were a ruthless lion, main species with an ancient canine ancestry. They become known as the Golden Maned Ones, and the reptiles refer to them as the R. These beings were equally as selfish and power-driven as the reptilian empire. They created the term One World Empire, and anyone who would question their elite class authority would be killed or jailed on their home planets. This influence runs through all the world today in the form of tyrannical, totalitarian society which is being broken now as we shift into the fourth density consciousness. The Syrian wolf and kings were very powerful both physically and intellectually. They were extremely intimidating when engaging in physical violence and took on unholy masculine berserker archetype to install fear into their enemies. They were severely imbalanced in their feminine energy. It wasn't uncommon for the soldiers to eat some of their victims on the battlefield to intimidate enemies that hadn't already filled. Technologically wise, they learned how to hollow out asteroids and use them as weapons as well as vehicles. This is where we get the term Death Star in Star Wars, as it was used to infiltrate other star systems negatively. The external appearance would often fool their selected prey target when entering into enemy territories. The moon is an example of this technology which Marduk would later inherit with his Draco fallen angel followers. These beings are also referred to as seekers because of their desire to go to other star systems and take resources for the benefit of not only building their own empire, but to repair their atmosphere on their home planets. This was mainly because their planets orbiting three suns in their own solar system caused a tremendous amount of radiation damage to their DNA and environment. 
Seekers had to constantly find a new supply of minerals to repair that damage. Gold nanoparticles helped achieve this, and hence why the golden nectar was used to alchemize the gods to an immortal state. Another term used for the seekers and refugees were the Anunnaki. The Wolfen kings and the reptilian queen leading the Orion Empire encountered one another when these Syrians were passing through the ninth passageway. The reptilian queen admired the brutality and masculine energy of the Wolfen king tribes. It was something for her forces lacked. Her best soldiers were actually female, and they were absolutely terrifying. Aya needed a strong masculine force to further solidify her growing empire, which these Syrian kings could provide to her. The queen therefore sent out the invitation to form an alliance with the Syrians and which the Wolfen warriors accepted. However, as time went on, the queen used intimating tactics on these Syrian factions, eventually using death ray technology to kill a few of commanders and force them into a total submission to her empire. Betrayal is at the core of the corrupted Draco they only understand loyalty if it is to them. The Wolfen kings who complied with the queen demands were given reptilian armies to take charge of once official alliance documents has been signed. They were to collect materials for the Orion Empire as well as use these materials to send back to their own home planets it was fair deal in both parties' eyes in exchange for a new workforce. The spaceports and pyramids on Earth would connect up to the Orion portals to allow this transportation of materials to be shipped over efficiently. And Lil was in charge of the Draco hybrid IDG rays that were used as slaves to mine for gold copper, and other minerals on Earth and on Mars. Marduk, his nephew, was assigned to the post of commanding the RH negative IgG on Mars, who later invaded Earth and defied his uncle via his Luciferian rebellion. This led to the famous dualistic battle outlined in the Bible between God and Lucifer. The fallen angels that followed Marduk, Azazel, the earth, infected the human gene pool by interbreeding with us against Enlil's will. The old negative blood of the IgG or Draco would ultimately alter the Christ consciousness codes in Noah and his Sean Shams a B positive bloodline that was the blueprint to move humanity forward in a great experiment.